Y'all ready to have some fun? We're going to be working with my Noom today. This is one <clears throat> I posted last year on how to make this Noom. And we actually use a Dollar Tree um, witch frame. Um, if you go to my YouTube channel, if you want to make one, there's all the instructions there on how to do it. I have, hi Nanny Dot, I have most of the um, product, so, you know, I could even do a, um, a wreath kit with it. <clears throat> okay, I may need some more glue sticks here. Now what I had, I had two of these that I had gotten from a friend a while back, and I just absolutely loved them. But they had these stuck in them, and they just, I didn't know what to do with them. And what was so weird, I've been working on this guy, and I had him laying on my counter, and I just moved him over and sat him on top of these. And I'm like, oh my gosh, did you ever do that? Where like all of a sudden it hits you what you can do with it? I thought, okay, let's make this, let's put him on the wreath and, and put these mittens here like he's standing there with his hands. Isn't that cute? <clears throat> At least that's what I envisioned. <laughs> how, it, how it works out, we'll see. But yeah, he's going to go there. And then I'm going to take these and I'm going to pull these apart and use some of the bells and such throughout. I didn't know if I wanted to put this like he was holding it. I don't know yet. So we will, we will see how it goes. Thank you, Jean. Hi, Missy. So that's the plan. And like I said, he just happened to land right next to them and... I just had that aha moment. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> excuse me. So, we're going to give it a shot and see what happens. But because I only had two of these, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to take these apart and make three picks out of them. So, I'm only going to use three of the bells because we've got four bells. So, we like to do things in three. So one of the bells we're going to remove. And then we're going to start working. I know. It, it, it was just like... He, it just fell into my lap. Like, oh my gosh. I've had them for almost two years now. My girlfriend was selling them and I said I have to have those. And what are the odds that they would end up in the same location as each other and give me this awesome idea? So, yeah. Or I could put it up here like he's waving. But if I do that, see, like, the that's what was so weird about it. This is the way the Christmas tree is going. If I make it look like he's waving, the Christmas tree is upside down. And you know how I am with stuff like that. So I thought the higher up I put him and I put them down here close like he's there with his mittens. And whether I use this in the middle or not to make it look like he's holding it, I don't know. It's We're going to... We're just going to create as we go. Thank you. So, I want to take these apart because I may want to use some of this, um, this fabric here. So, I want that off. Because I may put just, I may cut this up and just put some little ties on the, or here. 
We're going to make it look real country, just like that. What da Yeah, because I had, as of last night, I had no idea what I was going to do today. And then it's like, it just came to me. And then we'll go ahead and we'll tie this one on here to make it look real primitive and rustic. Because that's the look I'm going for. You know me. Now maybe I'll just kind of put that around back. Or... Or I'll kind of slant it like that. That's why we'll do it. Now I'll need a little bit of ribbon because I actually just sewed this and stuffed it and to turn it inside out because I sewed it all the way around. I left the slit up the back. So I could turn it inside out, stuff it. So now I want to Now I want to close this seam and put some of this on the back so I have something to tie it to. Just check in your comments. Make sure I'm not missing anybody. Now we may even be able to use... We could even put that on... I don't know. I kind of wanted something different, but this is what I ended up with, so I'm kind of challenging myself to use what I have. So that's what we're doing. Y'all been having a good day so far? That's probably going to get stuck to that and me. Yep. Ooh. Mr. Green opened his eyes finally last night. And Mr. Blue has one eye open. So it won't be long. I'm thinking by dinner time he'll have his open and then everybody will have their eyes open the little puppies okay I'm just kind of let me see if we can stretch this out a little. Can you guys all see okay? Let me bring you down. Well, thank you for joining me. We got a whole two people. <laughs> More fun. When it's just us, right? We don't need no stinking people. Okay, I'm going to kind of do that. And I'm going to try and take this from here. Try and do a crisscross with it. All right, let's start up here. And then take this from here so take a little less all right we're going to glue the whole strip together to give us exactly what i'm trying to accomplish here There we go. Now, 
We want it to look like garland. So, let's do that. And we're gonna close this gap up where I stuffed it. Trying desperately not to burn my hands. There we go. Then we're gonna just go around, around. I kinda wanna get that there. That's what I wanted to do. Just to make it look more country. Probably wouldn't hurt to iron it. <laughs> and it'll lay right. We're good. We're going with the flow. Right? Right, Jean? Did Missy leave us or is she still on here? Missy, come back, come back. Did you see that wreath Missy made yesterday? Holy cow, that thing was beautiful. All right, so we got that. Let's get him attached. I probably don't need this second um, tie I put on there. So let's get him in here. I'm using the green tinsel tie so it really disguises with the, the wreath base. I don't need all of it, so we're gonna cut some of it off. So we can probably use that to make the hanger when we're done. Okay, so we got that there. Now this, I think I'm going to take this and pull this down so I can steady it on the bottom of the wreath base. See, I have one piece like right here. So let's do that. Let's stretch it down and grab the bottom. And then we've anchored it at the top and at the bottom. So that guy ain't going anywhere. He's staying put. I love that rustic bell. That's what I put on all my gnomes last year. Now there's batting under here. Then I sew these and I put them on top of the batting on top of the frame. And then I actually took, where is it? This ribbon that I got at Michael's last year, folded it in half, pulled out the wire, and then sewed it to the bottom. If you don't sew, you can definitely hot glue. Then for his nose, like I showed you the other day, we did not use a ball, we used a knob. A knob is flat on one side. Like you would put this on, a drawer, on the drawer for a drawer pull. All right. All right, so he's on there pretty good. I went ahead of, ahead of time and I fluffed up our bow. So let's just see where we can get these. I'm thinking we definitely want it like on the bottom row, as close to the bottom as possible. But yet, we're gonna have to take it to the top level too, and the bottom. Doesn't that look cute? See that? How it just looks like he's got his hand hanging out there. It was sheer coincidence this happened. And see where I took these out of, because this was shoved in this hole, I took it out and then I just glued in the um, 
the, in, into the mitten in that hole. And of course, using my green tinsel tie, it blends right in. You don't even see it. They were actually, Donna, they were actually my friends. She was getting rid of a lot of her primitive stuff and she was selling it. And I'm like, I have to have those mittens. And I'm like, you only have two? And she said, yeah. And I said, all right, I'll take them. Because you know I like to buy things in three. Your stuff went out this morning today, Donna. So get ready. They're coming. And I also refunded you the overage because since she placed the two orders and I shipped it as one, there was a little bit of a savings there. So I know, right? I always look for primitive stuff. I I I absolutely love primitive. And these were sticking out of the top. There were two bells on each one. So what we did was we're breaking these apart and we're going to make three picks. And we're going to leave one of the bells off. That way, and actually I could take the rusty bell off the top and I could even add that additional bow that we have left over. Oh, good. Because I'm telling everybody, and I know Donna got hers and Julie got hers, we only have so many left. So I've got this listed and then these come in two different colors. <laughs> right, Missy? <laughs> That's all right. I thought the guy was going to come with my dog food delivery and he has a tractor trailer because I have an in-home store and he came at 1230. I'm like, thank heavens. I said, if ever you come at two and I don't answer, just leave it in the garage because I'm on a live. So I don't know if we want to put this guy here or if we want to put that in the bow I don't know. We're, we'll just keep going and we'll see if this even has a place in this wreath. Or, you know, I don't know. I know, it's turning out so cute. I was telling everybody, I just happened to lay, the, lay this down the other night next to these. And, and because I only got two off of her, I didn't know what I was going to do with them. And it's like, all of a sudden, I had this, he, he matches these. Oh, my gosh. Now, I do have a tutorial on my YouTube channel on how to make these gnomes. And this is that, um, that yarn from, I think it's from Michael's. I think that's where I got it. It's either Michael's or AC Moore. If you cannot find it and you want to do a gnome kit, I can sell you a gnome kit. I have all the stuff. Okay. All right. So because we only had one of these in each mitten, we're going to take them apart because we want to make something in three for our triangle. So we're just going to remove all this stuff and we're going to try and figure out how to get three out of the pieces that we're pulling off. I don't really like these. They don't do anything for the wreath. So we're going to ditch them. Or I could save them and use them in another project. Okay. So we may just use this and then these three picks. Like, you know, I don't, I don't know. We'll just keep going and whatever happens, happens. Okay. But what I'm doing is pulling these apart so we know what we have to work with and how we're going to make our picks. We know we definitely want a, a bell in each pick. So, maybe it was just divine intervention. But that talk to me. And then we have to decide, okay, if we have three picks, where are we going to put our bow? Are we going to put a small bow here, a small bow here, a small bow here, and add the pick stuff to the bow? 
What are your thoughts? Because I, I want you guys to help. I want us to work on it together to make it awesome. All right, so we don't need that. And then we just got to get this bell off of here. Like I said, they can be used for something else. They actually could even be used on these stars and then put the, the berries and the ribbon on top of that. Because we made that the other day. I showed you last week how to make one of those and stain them for the wreath that I'm going to be doing soon. So there's that idea. Nothing gets wasted. You got to you got to just have like a little thing on the side. Now, I think what will end up happening is it looks like one will have three. No, two will have three and one will have two. Come on. We got a stubborn pit berry here. But we're going to fix that. There we go. All right, so we got one. So we ended up with only two in this batch, which is okay. So we got three, two, and one. Now this I'm gonna chop off because it looks dangerous. All right, so we got one bell with that one, one bell with that one, and then this bell with that one. So I have that's plastic. I'm not quite feeling that. Or, nope, not quite feeling that one either. So, we could just do, instead of tails, we could just do some little ribbons with this inside the ribbon. You know, like a, ah, oh, dang phone. Not answering it. I'm just not. We could add those two if we wanted. So let's just start off with. Um, this is kind of the green that's in that. So let's just start off with a little piece of this. And let's just make a little bow. And see if this is the way we want to go with our little picks and then do some bows we're designing as we go now see this is just a loop and a loop on top of each other and gathered now to make it look rustic I'm actually going to take some twine and tie it with some twine. Okay, Jean says she likes the three little bows. So. But I just want it as rustic as possible. Let's do our dovetail. Right. Now, I'm going to glue some of this behind here, and then what do you think about that as a little pick? I think that's what we'll do. Now, this has a really good piece of wire on it, so I think I will use the wire to attach the bell to the bow. Get out my little needle nose here. Now I want to 
curl this around so I don't have anything that's going to stick me there. So there we go. We've taken two objects and we've taken the centers out and made three out of it. And then we will cut some of this apart because we don't need all this. But we just want to put some of this back here just to give it that little pop. So let's glue that in place. Actually, I'm going to glue it, but then I'm going to tie it real tight, too. Come on. It's okay when it works. Yeah. Boy, that ought to hold, huh? I wanted to I could just leave that roping attached but then I'm thinking we could put one there put one up here these I think I think I'm gonna twirl them a little curl them that's the way they do it here they curl up their pip berries Hi, Bobby. Welcome. Okay. So there's one pick out of the two we pulled out of here. So let's make another one. We're just going to duplicate it. And we're just going to do one loop. Cross over and do the other loop. Turn this around for those just joining us. There we go. Then what we did was we wrapped the bell around it to hold it in place. Missy Bobby's in class with me in Dre's class. I'm loving Dre's class. Only trouble is I keep forgetting on Mondays and Fridays too late. <laughs> so, all right, then we are going to do this one with two. And then we're going to get out our piece of twine. And we're going to tie this in place. Now we're going to put a little dab of glue back here. And then we're going to tie it tight so it'll grab everything. The bow, the wire, and the pit berries. There we go. One rogue wire here. There we go. Knot it. Do our dovetail. And then we've got pick number two. And let's twirl our pit berries. Isn't it, Jean? It just it just screams cute. We've got a broken pipper here, so we're going to do some minor mending and help them out. There we go. Might have to twirl some um, roping around it to kind of hold it in place. It seems to have separated from the rest of the bunch. So we're just going to doctor it up. We want it to look rustic anyhow. 
there. It just gave it a little reinforcement. Well, thank you. I don't know if you were here when I told everybody, this just happened to fall right on top of these or vice versa and gave me this idea to use these with him. I've had him for a while now, both of them, as two solitary picks, you know, two picks. And it's like, what do you do with just two picks? You take them apart and you figure it out. So that's what we're doing. So... I don't know, maybe we'll put the three picks on this side and then do a bow over here. And we still haven't decided if we're putting this in the bow or if we're going to let him hold that. And if we wanted to, since we could use a little bit of this, we could actually even insert that in there too. I like that. Do you like that? I like it. So let's put it in there. Not a big fan of the styrofoam, but I think it gives it a little pop. There. Cutesy, right? If any of you have a chance to join Dre's group, do it. I have learned so much from her just in the last two weeks. That woman's ideas are on fire. So let's just tie this in place again. Right, Bobby? And then we got one more to go. Oh, need a bow. And look at this ribbon I found. I think I'm going to use this in here too. Look at that. Is that not cute? It's got holes in it. I thought that would really make it look rustic, give it some more um, texture. I love making these instead of tails all the time. I really do. It's my favorite thing to do. Use bows instead of ties. Like what Dre says, less is more sometimes. And that sure is true. All right, so get these trimmed up a little. Put these back here. Another piece of rope. <clears throat> Let's tie this down. So we can un get it out of the glue <laughs> here we go maybe we can even get this in there at the same time I think it might even need some more of something in it but at least I have a start with it hi Peggy how's your knee how you getting along today Okay, like I said, this is what they do in our area. They kind of twist the pit berries up. Wish LaVon was on. She loves pit berries. 
<laughs> just a joke. She didn't know what they were at first. She didn't remember until I reminded her. And I use them a lot. All right. So we've got our three. And like I said, you may even need something else under it. But we can do those there. Now, I don't know. No. I even have these left over from the other piece we did. And they're just about the same color. And we may need these in between. This was an old candle ring that I found. It had some really decent leaves and these berries in them. I like what that's doing. Who's with me? Missy, do you like that? What you thinking, girl? How's that look so far? I'm trying to move them where you can see them. Let me kind of spread this down open a little more. There's what we got so far. Now let's do a big old bow over here. And then we'll decide if we want to leave that there or if we want to put that in the middle of the bow or what we want to do. And look, I still have more on this that I can take it apart and use. Dawn gives it the thumbs up. And Dawn, or Don, I mean, don't forget. We've only got a few of these left in my Etsy shop, and we used these the other night. So if anybody is looking for the acorns, they're listed. I tried to get them in there as soon as I could. All right, I think I'm going to start with the maroon first. <clears throat> and I got this from Kringle Designs. And I think I'm only going to do like an 8-inch loop this time. I'm just going to do a hand bow with about a five inch loop. And I'm going to do my three loops, two tails, one. I like that one. It's just simple, not too extravagant. All right, so when you put it in your bow dabber, you're going to have two tails on one side with one loop and the other two loops oops got that stuck in there so you got two tails over here and two loops over there now i'm going to use this one next because i want to kind of downplay this maroon just a little bit because this is a little bit darker but yet it's very close to this color so i'm going to kind of play with your eyes a little bit in doing that <clears throat> this one came from paper mart this one is called brown random mesh wired ribbon I just thought it was so unique again I'm going to stick with my 8 inch tail and I may drop it down just a tiny bit no actually I think I'm gonna go pretty close to that And then I'm going to check my size. Yep, same size. So again, I end up with two tails on one side and two loops on the other side. So because I got my two tails over here, we're going to actually put the two tails on that side. Now, I'm debating on whether to put this in next or just do regular green. See, this is a little bit different. I mean, it has these colors in it, but I don't like these two next to each other. So, I think I'm gonna do the Missy trick. I think I'm gonna put this under the brown and then put this one next. How's that, Miss? Welcome, Brenda. Thanks for joining us. 
What's the weather like in Mississippi? You would do the green check next or you would put it under here. What's your flavor, girl? I guess that means, yep, she would do that next. So I'm gonna just drop this one. No, I'm gonna actually make this at five, like the other two. Missy is the queen of bows. Her bows are bodabra. Oh, that's good. It rained here yesterday, and we have not had rain in such a long time. We so needed it so bad. So you didn't mind it because you really needed it. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So we want our tails on this side, our two tails, because our two tails are over here. Now, because we got our two tails over here, we want these two tails on this side. See, this is kind of playing this these colors down a little bit toning them down that's what i want to use all right and then i think because this has all three colors in it i'm going to put this one on top So again, an eight inch tail and I think we're going to do about a four and a half inch loop. These are all wired ribbons. Two tails on this side, two tails on that side. Now we need some tinsel tie because I don't, I'm not going to do that now. No, 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 no. There we go. Now let's pull this out. Let's put our tinsel tie. You know me and my tinsel ties. And there is a tutorial on there. In fact, I put that tutorial on last year after the conference at Westchester. And now it's got two or 5.7K likes or views. That was very popular that year. Even though somebody came back from conference and decided to claim it as their own, which wasn't nice. But, we're not going to go there. It finally came out, so. <clears throat> I don't mind anybody using my stuff, but you know what? If I did it first, give me credit for it. Don't be mean. Okay. All right, let's see. Still thinking this needs something. And I'm 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 thinking it may not be these berries either. I'm thinking it needs some wispy stuff. So I know. Well it finally came out. But they all thought she was the one that invented it. Good things come to those who wait right maybe I just need some of this brown around here what's your thoughts I'm going to try and do one like one tail up and one tail down oh my gosh I love this ribbon that is just awesome right That bell of his. These bells are expensive. But if anybody needs them, I have those too. So if you wanted a gnome kit, I can 
get one together for you. I even have the witch, the Dollar Tree witch things. So, if you decide you want, I got. I think this needs to be a little shorter. See, we used Missy's trick of putting the... And I never did that before. I never... I always went two and a half, two and a half, then one and a half, one and a half. And Missy said, no, do not do that. So I didn't, <laughs> and I love them. All right, what does it need? Looking at it now, it needs something over here. So let's do some playing with what we got. Like this is not going to make it in here. It's just not. And I don't know if it's going to make it there either. So we may just have to ditch this. What if you took... Okay, so... Okay, so you're just talking like a ribbon, triple ribbon, just cascading, and then that on top. I have, see these are kind of maroon where these kind of have a little more red to it. So you're saying like take your ribbon tails. <gasps> oh my gosh, look. Oh my gosh. I think you got it, Missy. Of course my other ribbon fell on the floor. Let me get it. <clears throat> So you're talking like just a whole ribbon. And maybe because this one's already in there, what if I just use this one instead of the green on this side? And just kind of weave it in and out. Or should it go sandwiched in between the two? ribbon cascading i got you girl all right let me do it this way and see what you think of it this way kayla's on hey kayla sorry i didn't see you right away kayla's working don't tell anybody <laughs> the other ones right just these three right and then put this on top of it like to grab it and in areas, right? I'm feeling you, girl. I got you. <laughs> Jean, I'll get with you. I'll have to look through all my fabric. I got a bunch of different fabric for this guy. All right, and then you're talking like just kind of do this with it, right? Just kind of, right? Then gather it and tuck it down a little bit. And we can use our pine base for that. See, you always don't need a bunch of florals in here. You just need something to give it some dimension. So let's pull this out. And then when we drop this, now it's not being cooperative. It's very good ribbon. So then when we drop this down in here, then we'll attach our pick to that, right? Do I got you? I'm listening. In fact, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to tie this to the ribbon and then I'm going to take the pine wreath and attach the ribbon to the wreath. So I'm going to use this as my tie down. See, like that. Then I can kind of spread this out a little. Am I feeling you? So darn hot in here. Jeez. Yep. I'm feeling you. I got you. So I made something from almost nothing here. We just used the gnome, the mittens, 
and the stuff I got out of the mittens. I even kind of like this rope just hanging there. Okay, we'll move this guy. And then we're going to crisscross it over to this side. Like this. So it goes like this. Woo! I like it when you guys are in the house. Okay, so she's saying make them big enough so I can fan them out. I'm feeling ya. We are on the same page. I want that a little bigger of a loop there. Where's the other piece of ribbon? Piece of twine is eluding me. Perfect. Yay! Purposely didn't tell Kayla we were going to do a, a numery. She's already confused <laughs> enough on which one she's going to choose. See, doesn't this stuff look really cool? I have to play with it a little bit, but I'm getting it. So we were on here on that side. So now this time we're going to go on this side. Okay, make sure, I can always pull it up some, if it's not. Now should I just leave a tail down here? I think that would look good. I need to pull more of this up there, like that. Pull some more of this up like that I'm gonna have to play with it a little bit this is all, a lot of wired ribbon all trying to work together here and i still have to tie this down Oh, okay. Missy is suggesting leaving a lot of ribbon at the bottom here, but then curl it up. Okay. Now I'm going the opposite way I went over there. So she's saying leave some tails on this. And this I'm going to have to adjust, but for right now, you're getting the visual of it. Down to there is about good. like that look at look at this ribbon it, is it not amazing I have it in red too and then see you just let it all down. See, I've been watching Missy a while. <laughs> I've done this before, 
but sometimes you have to sit there and just jog my memory. Thank you. And then I have to really position these down tight. I'm going to use my, my pine to do that. Because they're kind of loosey-goosey here. And we don't want them loosey-goosey. So this one needs to go down a little bit. Okay, what do we think? Let me zoom up. What do we think? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Fluff my bows more. Yay! Missy loves it. This one's gone to Missy's house. <laughs> if it doesn't get to Kayla's first, <laughs> I don't. I don't think this will do anything for here like I just don't I think that's better just leaving it out but I may come up with something for the beard or I may do a different colored hat I don't know yet so we took two gloves and a gnome took these two gloves apart and made three picks out of it <clears throat> I, you think the Christmas tree would look cute here? You know what? Wait a minute. Let me just try something. What if I just added a little bit of this behind it? Just to kind of tie everything in together. You tell me what you think if I put it in there. I don't know. Maybe because the tree is not the color of the others. I mean, if I put that there, does he look like a gnome? Let's just try it and then see what we think. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. Maybe if this was solid green, like the solid green on the mittens, maybe it would work then. You know what I mean? I think I've got too many patterns fighting against each other. So maybe if I just find a solid green piece to match the solid green on the mittens, what's your thoughts? Missy says attach it to the mittens. But we only got one. Let me see. We're just, just trying stuff. You think it looks good all together? Really?
I don't know. This definitely needs something here. I'm just not sure. What if Missy... Wait a minute. What if we put a realistic looking piece in there like that, Missy? Get rid of this. Put that in there. What do you think? <laughs> What's dang it mean? Read up. I saw attach. You think it looks good all together. See, I think this looks good. And then, wait a minute. If I take some of this. And I just tie a little piece of this to the top. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm thinking. We'll use that extra bell and tie it to the top of the tree. Miss A. <laughs> she say, dang it. <laughs> See? I told you, she's saying, dang it. Oh. I'm just not liking that other color. To me, it's just fighting. So let's try this. This looks better under it. Because I think that gives me the green that visually I'm craving. And this is see-through. Oh, that's broken. We're going to put another piece in there. And this is see-through, so you still get the effect of the beard. Yeah, but I just don't like it. Because that matches the wreath base itself. I'm getting you. Wait a minute. Okay. Let me, let me figure this out. Missy saying, have him hold it like he's holding garland. So if I stretch that over there and glue it underneath here, yo, that's hot. And I'm tying this back in with our, our picks. And we're going to use, dang, spider webs. We're going to use a piece 
of the twine to tie this to that and then glue that to that. does, doesn't it? There we go. You saw it here first. <laughs> I'm going to time stamp this one. That's the only way anybody's going to believe me. Tie that like that. Tie that like that. Let it hang down. Yeah, that didn't stay. So we're going to have to use our pine underneath the mitten to make it look like. Yep, because it's not holding. <gasps> I think I got it. I think I got it. Just got to push this beard down in there. Gonna have to fix that bell. <clears throat> Actually, let's go ahead and weave this back through here and tie it. There are my needle nose I kind of like leaving the rope there too. That really screams rustic. All right. I think we got it. And then I can just hang this down like that so it looks like he's holding it. Great idea, miss. This is why I tell her when I'm going live. I'd love to get in a room with her and do a design together with any of you. Okay. I think we're done. What do you think? I'm going the wrong way on the camera. What are your thoughts? <laughs> yes, I have 11 witnesses. <clears throat> you saw it here first. Oh, we're losing this guy. We got to glue him a little better. We got to hot glue this baby. I think that's it. Looks like he's holding it. Thank you. Thanks, Missy. Thank you to all those that suggested. And then I'll pull these out a little bit better. <clears throat> and fix those. Now yeah, this needs to go on that side. There we go. Do you like? We're done. We did it. Together. <clears throat> One of a kind. Thank you, Brendan. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Jean. I'll get through my box of gnome stuff and I'll I'll even add the beard there for you. 
I can add the fabric, I can add the noom news, I can add the bell, and you got everything you need to make your own own noom. The Dollar Tree frame. The only thing you'd have to get is some batting, and you don't have to use it. <laughs> Kayla says she's coming to get him. Uh oh. I like. I think we did it justice. And I, to think I've had those mittens for two years now. In fact, I'm going to send this a picture of this to my girlfriend that I got the mittens from. I'm going to say, look what I finally did with your mittens. She'll say it wouldn't. It didn't surprise me. She knows me. A lot of times I just wait for the right combination to come along. Thank you. Thank you, miss. <clears throat> All right. I got to go let some puppies out and check on the babies and I appreciate all of your help I don't know if I need to redo him and give him a different color or if he's okay with how we have it I'll leave it I think we did him justice <clears throat> All right, you all have a great evening, and thank you so much for stopping by and supporting me. I really appreciate it. Good night.